Well, the concept to have a college at Lake Tahoe started back in the early 60s when some parents of high school students came to the Lake Tahoe Unified School District Board and asked, you know, can we have a college, a community college here so that our students don't have to go far away to right out of high school. And so the, at that time, uh, the co community colleges were under the State Board of Education. And so we, the board, Unified Board appointed a citizens committee to study the issue. And they worked with the superintendent of schools at that time, uh, Dr. Tony Magliari, and the business manager to develop a proposal, which Dr. Magliari presented to the State Board of Education. And they said, they looked at it and examined it and said, well, no, we're too small. You can't have a college. And so then we waited a while until the uh, legis California State Legislature passed a bill saying that all areas in California had to be included in a community college district. And so that started a study in the El Dorado County Committee on School District Organization. And I was a member of that committee, and we studied for s several years what were our options. Our options were to join, to join in a uh, contiguous college, such as Los Rios in Sacramento or Sierra College in Rockland, or to form our own. And we, after a lengthy study, we decided we wanted would rather have our own since the other districts would not promise us anything at all. They wouldn't promise a center or anything. And so we started uh, doing the study to form our own district and uh, which required an election. In 1974 we had a there again a citizens committee helped to work on passing this election to form the district and elect the first board. It was all done at one time. That's a March 5th, 1974, which we will be celebrating on March 5th, 19, I mean 2014, <laughs> at the old motel, which was our original location. Dr. James Duke was our first president, and when we hired him, we had nothing but a post office box. And he started out looking for places to have a, classes and studied many, all the realtors in town uh, uh, gave him ideas of where we could have classes. And within a year, he was able to locate the motel. Uh, it was Gherkin's Lodge at that time. It's now the Econo Lodge. And uh, within a year, we, in September of 75, we started our first classes there. I could never have envisioned the lovely campus that we have here now. I'm not that great a futurist, uh, and, but he did. He promised us a, a full campus, including the gym and theater and all that, uh, within eight years. Well, it took a little longer than eight years. <laughs> Everything at Tahoe takes a little longer, but he, he delivered, and we were, due to his foresight, we have this lovely campus today. I see us becoming a destination college. Uh, we're, look, we're, we're working on our strategic plan. We have several ideas about expanding programs, uh, expanding maybe dorms, which I'm dorms. I'm not real crazy about, but we think that uh, there is a, f a good future. It's a beautiful place, a beautiful campus. We have lots of room on the campus. We have 164 acres. And uh, of course, some of it is in the creek, but, <laughs> but uh, we're, I think there's a great future ahead for us. Look, our most exciting thing that I'm looking at now is we're looking to have specialized four year programs baccalaureate, with baccalaureate degrees. And I think this will be really exciting for the local community to be able to have that right in our own area. I think we were very fortunate to hire Dr. Duke. He had had experience in starting colleges, which is why one of the reasons we hired him. And so he, he did have the foresight in how to b get the land. And, and that was a long process too. Uh, but he was just, he was what we needed at the time. And you need different leadership at different times. And I think we've been blessed with having the appropriate leadership for the times we were going through. 
and now I'm really, I think we're excited with Dr. Kindred Murillo, who has such a broad background in both large schools and small schools to guide us through these trying times right now with many new state regulations and, uh, and the econo economy, the, the uh, reduced economy of our area. The college is a huge benefit to the community economically, and I think we can build on that, and that's why having dorms would help with that also.